This is Renee Romeo and today's Pearl of Wisdom is how to get crystal clear shower glass after every single shower. Now what I've done to prep for this is I've gone ahead and used a green scrubby on the inside. And the green scrubby is the heavy duty version which will help you get off all of the soap scum, especially all of it that accumulates at the bottom of the glass. That's really the, the worst part of the whole job. And all I've really used here is uh, the method cleaner and this is just an all purpose cleaner and it's great because it's environmentally friendly and I don't think that you're breathing in all the harsh chemicals that you normally would with a bathroom cleaning product. And the front of the glass is cleaned off with Sprayway glass cleaner. I really think this is the best glass cleaner on the market and it really creates a beautiful streak free surface so that you can see exactly what your product looks like when you're done. So the secret to my success is car wax and this is a turtle wax, it's a paste wax. And the great thing about this in comparison to some of the spray-on products that you can get for cars these days is that the spray-on products have all kinds of chemicals in them, really harsh chemicals. And this is just a paste wax, it's carnauba wax. And when you have your steam shower going and it gets hot and steamy in there, you're not going to be breathing in any of these harsh chemicals. This is just going to create a nice water repellent surface on the back side. Now I pulled off the top of the paste wax and I have my little sponge that comes with it and I've already pre-moistened it and so it's just moist, it's not really wet, it's just only damp. So you'll see that this is a product that is a little bit goopy and the great thing about it is you're just going to put a little bit on your sponge and you're just going to apply it to your glass in a circular motion just like so. Very, very simple, very easy to do and you're not putting a whole lot on there because what you're going to wind up doing is letting this dry and if you've ever waxed a car before and years ago um, this is exactly how you do it you're just going to go ahead and get this nice little swirl pattern together and let it dry and so you'll see I finished this side and I'm ready to go to the other side and I'm going to just do the same exact thing you know, being a little bit careful around hinges and things so that you don't get a buildup on your hinge um, but you do want to get up close to it so that you actually make that really nice and water repellent too and you won't get soap scum build up on those either. So I already started wiping this down and what I'm using is a really great microfiber cloth. I think these are really great for this kind of work because what it'll do is it'll take up any of the dust that appears as a result of you rubbing this off. It'll all cling to this cloth really nicely and not make a mess. So I'm just going to go ahead and just keep on going here until I'm all done and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Everything is wiped down and everything is just super crystal clear just like the day that it was installed. So let me just show you the water repellency of the, the new wax and see how that works out. And look at that. None of it's sticking to the glass. It's just beating right off. And so the soap scum and any other thing that you put on this is not going to stick to the glass at all. It's going to remain clean, neat, and fresh looking every single day. And from this point, all I really use is either a squeegee or a towel just after every single use to just wipe it down very quickly uh, to keep it as fresh and clean looking as possible. So there's another great pearl of wisdom for you to use and incorporate into your life and I hope that this will save you a lot of time, energy, and really make you enjoy your space on a daily basis instead of cringing every time you see your dirty shower door. So this is Renee Romeo, thank you so much for watching and I'll bring you another great tidbit in the future.